I couldn't rotate in the downswing until I found this drill. I used to rack my brain and thinking, why can I not rotate? I do everything right, but then I still stall out, flip the hands through the golf ball. This drill was the key for me to having that nice effortless rotation through the downswing. Now, what this drill does, it targets your hip tilt. And having good hip tilt is absolutely crucial to being able to rotate. If you don't keep the tilt of your hips, you will always stall out and you'll always flip. And this is something that you very rarely see online. Really, my channel is really one of the only places you see stuff about hip tilt on YouTube. So, hip tilt keeping the left side, the tilt of your hips down as we turn. So with this drill here, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get the left hip to go down and around. So I'm trying to get this stick to point down and disappear around me as soon as I start my transition. That keeps that inclination of the pelvis and that keeps me turning through the shot. So this is something that no one ever considers when they're trying to rotate better in the swing. You'll be more focused on getting open where well, that's only one portion. You need to keep the tilt because that keeps the rate and the speed of your rotation constant. So for me, what I used to do, I used to raise up that left side in the downswing where what that would do, that would have me stall out my rotation before I even got to impact. I could sometimes get my hips open but I couldn't keep that rotation going. I would stall out here where it looked like I spun out of my hips, but in reality, it was just my lead side of my pelvis was raising up, stalling out my body. I can't continue to turn from that position. So having this stick here and keeping it pointing down and around going through that downswing kept me to where my rotation was nice, smooth, and constant as you could see there. And it's just an amazing drill to be able to get this movement of that nice continuous rotation into your swing. So let's get a little bit more in detail, step by step with this and talk about a good addition to this drill, which will rotate all of it. All of you could do this little addition, I'm gonna explain here and get ridiculously good rotation as a byproduct. So wait around for that at the end of this bit. So, okay, like we said, stick pointing down and around in transition. We want to straight away have this stick pointing more towards the ground and turning around there. So what happens then, as soon as we get to around shaft parallel to the ground, that's the bit where the stick will start to raise up. I'm not trying to hike my hip up to do that. That's called left side extension is what is getting this stick to raise back up. That's my left leg straightening, which will then keep your pelvis turning through that impact area. So we don't necessarily want to keep this stick down towards the ground the entire time, because then we're gonna have a fully flexed lead leg. We want to have this left leg straighten as we get into impact, that'll raise the stick up. But prior to that, we really need to keep this stick down as we're turning through that shot. So stick down, turning through, it will lift up through the golf ball via left side extension. Now the addition, is with the chair drill. So you've seen this a lot on my channel recently, the chair drill, to where we wanna push the chair back with our left side as much as we can in the downswing. Now, why this is so good for this drill? Because this targets the two areas of rotation. Rotation isn't just getting open, it's also the rate of your rotation. That, like we talked about earlier in the video, hip tilt controls the speed and the rate of your rotation. Is your rotation constant or does it stall out? This really helps with that. So it doesn't quite work on the openness, getting more open, more rotated, more Dustin Johnson-like. Can do, but really having the depth of your pelvis. So working on pelvis depth, which is getting your pelvis moving more back. So left pelvis depth being in a downswing, left hip going more back, will get you open. Keeping this stick pointing down around. Of course, we know when it lifts up for impact, but then that works on the rate of your rotation. So if we could do, let's say, half to three quarter swings with this, because there's a lot you're doing at once, you're gonna notice for all you out there that you're gonna start to turn a hell of a lot better. So here we go, just gonna do a half swing version, both drills here. There we go. So you can see from there, great, great rotation. So you can all do this drill, have a good go at it, do these two, and you can see some crazy, crazy good rotation pretty much every time you do it. There we go. So stick point down, down and around, pushing the chair back if you want both of them. Now, be a great one to do, but 
important disclaimer here. A lot of you who can't rotate in the downswing is because your swing isn't in a place to be able to rotate. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I used to rack my brain of why I couldn't rotate, even when my swing had the environment to rotate. So what does that mean? My club face was nice and square at the top of my swing, and it was maintaining being square in a downswing, because if I don't have a square face, if I'm open, I'm gonna stall out, I'm gonna flip. Not gonna be ideal. So from there, that one thing you need in your golf swing, you won't be able to benefit from any of this if your club face ain't square. So from there as well, depth of your arms at the top of the swing have been deep enough. So having your left arm more across your shoulder plane, having your hands around kind of your ankle region, maybe behind, then that's gonna help you as soon as you turn, club's gonna be on path. If your lead arm's too high and you turn the downswing, you're gonna swing massively over the top. So those are two really, really important ones in there. Like we talked about hip depth, making sure that right hip's working back as well in that backswing, keeping yourself moved back. If your pelvis moves forward going up to the top of your swing, you're gonna to continue to move forward. You're gonna early extend. There's tons and tons of things I could go on forever about, about variables that will stop you or make you rotate in a golf swing. I've got a guide to rotation on the app version of Skillist. There's a link in the description all about that, everything you wanna know about rotations in that. It's important to have your swing in the right place if you wanna benefit from this. This is gonna help you if your swing's in the environment, so make sure you check out your swing if it's in a good place. I'm on Skillist, so if you want me to have a look at your swing, link in the description for online lessons there, but definitely film your swing, see if it's in the place to rotate, then work on these drills and you're gonna be good to go, because this is what helped me of why I couldn't rotate might help you too if your swing's in the right place. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction just like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video.